Welcome back everybody with waves and sound. I'm gonna start talking about a little bit of different physics stuff than we are used to, but um, here we go. So what is a wave? It's kind of like, I guess the first thing you are probably gonna think about is like an ocean wave. And it's not the worst example of what a wave is, but a, a wave is a vibration or a disturbance in space okay so like if I hit this table right now there's gonna be a, a wave of sound kind of pulsing through the air and there's also gonna be a wave through the desk kind of transmitting vibrating across the desk okay That's essentially what a wave is all types of wave transfer energy so it's starting from one place maybe the source of this smack and then it's starting to that and then that energy is moving all across the table or across the air so forth uh, waves need a medium to pass through in this diagram the waves medium is water as this water drop hits over here now it starts to uh, that energy starts to move from that source okay and it's moving through water sound moves through air if there's no air, like if you're in space, you can't hear anything because um, the wave has nothing to travel through. There's no medium. All right, moving on. A good video showing a little bit more about waves. So here are some terms to know, kind of a new unit. So a lot of things we haven't really talked too much about. A wavelength is a distance from crest to crest. Um, I don't exactly love that definition, but but we'll talk a little bit about that. So the wavelength is how much, uh, how far um, the object goes from one cycle to the next. So if we can, dis we measure distance from here to here, that's like a full cycle, then that will give us the wavelength, okay? But remember, it just needs to be a full cycle. So we start here, we go up, we go up, and we go down, and we go start to go up again. This again is a full cycle. So this would also be a wavelength. From here to here is a wavelength, okay? Uh, not from here to here, yes, it is the same point, but that's not a full cycle. That's just half the cycle. It needs to come back to the same point. So another full cycle, let's say, is if we started over here, this one's starting to go down, goes here, goes back up, and then comes back down again. So from here to here is a wavelength. So a full cycle gives us the wavelength. From one full, the start of one cycle to the end of that cycle is a wavelength. Okay. The crest is the highest point uh, meet, uh, the medium rises. So the crest is going to be, a lot of times it's going to be the same as the amplitude. But the crest, oops, sorry. Let me erase some things. Okay, the crest is going to be the positive of the amplitude. So from here to here, that's the crest. From here to here, that's the crest. Okay, And the trough is the lowest point of the medium fall. So this is like the negative side of the amplitude from here to here, here to here. That's the trough. Period is the time it takes for one full cycle. So we talked about this wavelength, how the wavelength is from the beginning of one cycle to the end of the other cycle. And the period is how long it takes to make that full cycle. So if it starts here, it's going to end, uh, that cycle is going to end over here. So it's how long it takes. One oscillation, how long it takes. Frequency is the amount of cycles that can occur in that one second. So if something goes back and forth a lot in one second, let's say in this example, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, around seven cycles in one second. But something slower, like this, maybe in one second it only goes one time or half a time or something like that. So, but that's what a frequency is. A little bit confusing, but as we do example problems, we'll learn more about it. So amplitude is the maximum displacement by a point on the wave, like where the crests and the troughs are. That's what the amplitude is. The kind of the highest point. It's the power. Um, that's what the amplitude is. All right, moving on. All right, from the following graph, do your best to find amplitude, crest, trough, and wavelength. Okay, so this is like 
a position in the y direction over a position in the x direction or the horizontal and the vertical. So the amplitude, remember, is kind of like the highest point. So we can just kind of go from here to here. That'll give us the amplitude. And we have this right here, which is going to give us 12 meters. The crest is the same thing. It's the positive. So same thing over there, 12 meters. Trough is the same thing, except down here. So that's going to be negative 12 meters. And the wavelength. So wavelength is from here to here. Or we could start, if we're starting from here, goes the full cycle to over here. So that's going to be easier to read. That's going to be 34 meters. Um, the reason why we don't do like from the top, well, we could do from the top, but it's a little bit harder. Like we have to know what this point is right here. And with this graph, it's a little hard to see, but it should be between 0 and 17, uh, which is 8.5. And then over here is going to be 34 plus 8.5 so that's going to be what 42.5 so now we can do 42.5 minus 8.5 and we'll also still get 34 meters okay so one full cycle how far it is from those two cycles that's the wavelength okay uh moving on so this from the following graph do your best to find the period the amplitude the crest and the trough so pretty similar but actually the graph is different so we have position not as a function of the horizontal and the vertical but position as a function of time so in the x-axis we have the time so this is going to give us the period because remember period is how long it takes for to make a full cycle so if we're starting here and we go all the way up and all the way down then we can see that that cycle took 0 0.5 seconds okay from here to here that also takes 0 0.5 seconds so that's the period remember the amplitude we already discussed this is how far the maximum displacement so that's going to be 0 0.4 meters crest we discussed that again the positive direction which is 0 0.4 meters and trough again is the same thing but in the negative direction so that's negative 0.4 meters okay all right, so a little introduction with waves. Uh, we're going to do a lot more of these kind of things, so I hope to see you with the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.